Shortly after the Civil War, there were freedmen by the name of Grimes, Hines, and Trainum, amongst many others, living just a few, mile, few miles south of present-day Winston-Salem in northern Davidson County. They were bound together by both blood and culture. However, like most newly freed slave families, they were divided. Divided by name, divided by church, and divided by geography. However, 90, 80 years ago, in 1940, the Reverend Earl Hines and many others had the vision to organize a reunion for these families. A reunion that grew to be known as the Hines Grimes Trainum and Lindsay Family Reunion, a reunion that would, that would unite the descendants of these families for generations. Here is their story. The patriarch George Grimes was born in Virginia. His tombstone reads, July 1793 through July 11, 1905. He is buried at Brooks Temple Church in Midway, North Carolina. George married around three times that we know of, and he had some children. Surely there are more children than these, but these are his children that we know of. First, George Washington Hines, Martha Angeli Grimes Dar, Sarah Grimes, Paulina Grimes, Hiram Grimes, and Augustus Grimes. His last wife that we know of was Martha Yokely Hoover. His oldest known child was George W. Hines, who was born around 1842 and who died August 27, 1920 and he is buried at the Abbott's Creek Baptist Church in Walburg. George W. Hines married Emmeline Hines, who is also referred to as Emmeline Belo and Emily Teague. We see their marriage recorded on December 2nd, 1866. And if you will notice, York Foy was a bondsman or witness for the wedding ceremony in 1866. York is a cousin of their future daughter-in-law, Mabel Self Hines. And there is York, as you will see, who was a bondsman in 1866 at their wedding. Emmeline Hines, who is recorded as Emmeline Teague and Emmeline Bilo, was probably owned at some point by the Bilo or Teague family. She is also buried at the Abbott's Creek Baptist Church and her tombstone reads that she died in 1892. Here are George and Emmeline's children. George Hines Jr., Sarah Hines Raper, Ernest P. Hines and M. A. Hines, Charlie Hines, John Henry Hines and L. Hines, a Hulda Hines, and don't forget that name, Edgar Hines, Reverend Earl P. Hines, Bertha Bertie Hines Trainum, and Connie Viola Hines. George W. Hines Jr. married a Lizzie Lee Leggett, and some of their children are Oliver Hines, Nathaniel Hines, Raymond Hines, Herbert Hines, and Etta Lizzie Hines. Sarah Hines Raper married Alvin Raper on April 18, 1920. And Alvin's first wife was Fanny Mock, who was a daughter of Clinton and Lizzie Leach Mock. Virgil Raper, Clay Raper, Percy Raper, Ophelia L. Locke, Fletcher Raper, Rosa Raper, Willie Raper, and Nora M. Raper were some of their known children. And here we see Sarah and Alvin Raper's tombstones at Clifton Grove. 
Ernest P. Hines married Carrie Astra Thompson, and we know their children to, to be Mamie Hines, Maddie Hines, John Hines, Charlie Hines, Carl Hines, Booker T. Hines, Iram Hines, Irvin Hines, Daisy Hines, Moselle Hines, Richard Hines, and Clyde Hines. Charlie Hines married Dora Trainum, and their children were Alberta, Alberta Bertha Hines, Essie Hines, Rufus Hines, Harold Hines, and Peter Hines. And we see Dora's tombstone at Clifton Grove. John Henry Hines uh, married first a Minnie and then a Ada Waddell. And we see that John was a Pullman porter in Pennsylvania. Hulda Hines Trainums married George Newell Trainum, and their children were Coy Trainum, Harton Trainum, Curtis Trainum, and Maggie T. Trainum Malone. The Reverend Earl Hines married Mabel Self and then Ida Robinson, and his children with Mabel were George Hines, Raymond Hines, Jeanette Hines Kleinert Eller, Virginia May Hines Thompson, Stella Hines Thomas, Laureen Hines Sanders, Louise Hines, Rachel Hines, Connie M. Hines, William Hines, Early Hines, and Private Josiah Columbus Hines. Here we see Reverend Hines, Mabel Hines Tombstone, Reverend Hines Tombstone with Ida. Bertha Bertie Hines Trainum married Henry Trainum, and their children were Odessa Trainum and Howard Preston Trainum. Here we see their tombstone. Marticia Angeline Grimes Darr seemed to have died young, but first she married Robert Darr, and he married first a Mary, and then after Angeline died, he married a Bertie Lindsay. Their children were Camilla F. Darr, who may have been a stepchild of Angeline, Harrison Frank Darr, and George Darr. Notice she named her son George. At that time, people did name their children after their parents. Here we see them in 1880, Robert, Marticia, uh, Cornelia, George, M. Uh, Darr. And they're in Thomasville in 1880. The fourth known child of George Grimes was Paulina Grimes, who was born, in sept born September 20th, 1857, and she died on Valentine's Day, 1926. And she is buried in the Brooks uh, Temple Church in Midway. And here we see the estate records for Pauline, Paulina, and we see her brother listed Hiram Grimes as an heir. Hiram Grimes, the fifth known child of George Grimes, was buried at Clifton Grove. His first wife was Elizabeth, and then he married Maggie. And he is buried, uh, Elizabeth is buried at Brooks Temple, and he is buried at Clifton Grove. We see their children of uh, Charles Roosevelt Grimes, Early Hall Grimes, George William Grimes, James Carl Toots Grimes, Helena Grimes, and Frank Roosevelt Grimes. Hiram Grimes and his sons worked at Spock Wagon Works in Walltown, and later which became Unique Furniture Company. Uh, when wagons quit being made and popular, they then began to make furniture. And in the era when most blacks sharecropped, a factory job was considered a good job. And Hiram was a night watchman, so I can imagine he had a very strong personality and was highly ethical and honest. And here we see one of the Spock wagons. Early, Hall, early Harl Grimes, we know Mary Maddie Allen. Her father was the famous Uncle Green Allen who was the postman in Centerville near Walltown. And we know that some of their children were Richard Aldine Grimes, Martha Grimes Holland, Georgiana Grimes Coltrane, and Mrs. Dorothy Grimes Wright, wife of Reverend White. We see the early Harl Grimes, and we see that he worked at J.C. Spock. Uh, later, we see he worked at Unique Furniture Company. And here we see the cemetery tombstones of Early and his wife, Maddie Allen Grimes. George William Grimes married Bessie Blackburn on October 19, 1913. Bessie was a ward of the orphanage in Bellevue at one time. Their known children were James W. Grimes, Thurston Grimes, who were twins, Hiram M. Grimes, and then Curtis Grimes. Again, you see how people name their children for their parents. Uh, these folk moved to up north 
and most of the children were in the army. We see that George William Grimes, of course, uh, here was a laborer. And if you look over here in an early directory in Bellevue, you will see early in Manhattan, James and Beatrice in Bellevue, and William James, who was also in Bellevue with Bessie. And here we see his tombstone. He was living on Lexington Road. James Carl Toots Grime uh, married Beatrice Trainum. Some of their children were James Carolyn Grimes Lyons, Beatrice Bill Grimes Wright, Adelia May Grimes, Carl Pete Grimes, Dick Grimes, and Patrick Lamone Grimes, who was an Army veteran. And here we see that James Carl Grimes was living in Bellevue. Uh, he was born on June 7th, 1891. In Davidson County, he was a factory hand at Brown Williamson Company. And over here is Brown and Williamson, which is now part of RJR Company. And here is uh, his tombstone at Evergreen. Frank Roosevelt Grimes married Willie Grimes Viola uh, Elliott Smith, who was a librarian and teacher. And their children were Steve Grimes and George Grimes. And of course, Steve was the fa is the famous NASCAR racer. Augustus Grimes, the sixth known child of George Grimes, married first a Josephine Edwards and then a Charlotte Robinson. He moved to Mangum, Richland, Louisiana, where he owned property and had a rather large house. And we see in 1930, he had three teachers living with him, three teachers. So he was a fairly prominent person in Louisiana. The Trainum family, the brothers, the Reverend George and Moses Trainum. We find that the Reverend George Trainum and his wife, Clara Han Spurgeon Trainum were buried also in the Abbots Creek Baptist Church in Walburg. Here are some of their children. First are Jeffrey V. Trainum, who married first Carrie Morris, and then Lemmy Rowe, Reverend Lone L. Trainum, who married Addie Yokely, Shields Trainum, who married Josie McClary, Henry Trainum, who married Bertha, Harry Gilbert Trainum, who married Geneva Alexander, Maggie Trainum Lop Grimes, who married first A.H. Lop and then Hiram Grimes, Beatrice Trainum Grimes, who married James Carl Grimes, who we saw earlier, and George, George Newell Trainum, who married Hulda Hines, and James Walter Eugene Trainum, who married Maud Hamlin. Here we see uh, he also, George Urban Trainum also married Eliz Eliza Hager Trainum, who died in 1927. And we see her having died here. And there's George. She was buried at, in Abbott's Creek and her parents, and she was born in North Carolina. Here's a picture, of course, of Jerome Beatrice Trainum Grimes and her daughter, uh, Bill Grimes. Jeff Trainum was a blacksmith and later worked for the railroad, which was, again, a very prominent job to have at that time if you were black. Uh, he first married Carrie Morris. Carrie Morris was the daughter of Charles Morris and Mary Leinbach Fries uh, Morris. The, uh, the church in Forsyth County began in Mary's cabin on Walltown Street after slavery, and Mary was the founder of First Baptist on Highland Avenue. And some of Carrie's sisters were the famous missionary Addie C. Morris, who began a school in the orphanage in uh, town. Emma Morris Joyce, wife of Reverend J. Pinkney Joyce at uh, First Walltown Church. Mrs. Jasper Greer and Jane Freeze Charles. Their children were Charles Trainum, Luzette Trainum, and Margaret Trainum. The Reverend Lone Trainum first married a Chrissy Raper and then Addie Raper, and his children were George Edward Trainum, who served in WW2, and Francis Trainum Terry, who married Odell Trainum. Shields Trainum was a cook, as we see, at Reynolds Company, and he was later drafted, or there was at least a draft notice for him in town, and we will see his name down here on this draft notice for the war, World War I. Henry Trainum married Bertha Hines. Uh, their children were Isola Trainum, who married Ozone Morgan, and they moved to Essex, New Jersey, where she owned a cafe. Odessa Trainum Kendall, who married Raymond Kendall, and Howard Preston Trainum, who married Ellen Stokes. And we see their tombstone here. George Newell Trainum married Hulda Hines, and their children 
were Coy McLean Trainum, who married Elizabeth Lindsay, whose tombstone we see here, Hertus Trainum, who married Sarah Harmon, and Maggie Trainum, who married Eugene Malone. Here we see Walter Eugene Trainum, who married Maud Hamlin, daughter of Will and Martha Hamlin, who were famous at First Walltown. And their children were Dorothy Trainum Charles, who married early Charles, also of the area, uh, Walbert, Leon Gilmer Trainum, Chloe Trainum, Richard Trainum, and Billy Trainum. And we see that at one time he was a blacksmith at J.C. Spa. Spa also made uh, wagons in Walltown. And here we see their tombstone in Clifton Grove. Reverend George's uh, brother, Moses Trainum Sr., was born in 1844. He married a Mary Trainum. And some of their children were Ella Ann Trainum, John Trainum, who died in Bellevue, Lyndon Trainum, who died in Pittsburgh, Rose Trainum, Sarah Ann Trainum, who married Avery Raper, E, uh, e Trainum, a son who was uh, named S, initial S, Emmy, who was a daughter, uh, Dora Trainum Hines, who married Charla, Charlie Hines, Alice Virginia Trainum Neville, who married George Neville, George A. Trainum, and Moses Aldry Trainum Jr. Much of this family died in Pittsburgh, but many were buried, uh, brought home and buried in Georgetown. We see in his will in 1904 that he owned, when he wrote it, uh, lots of property in Abbott's Creek which he did lead to his children, or some of his children. Moses died in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and was buried in Clifton Grove, or Georgetown. His death certificate lists his parents as Barton and Eliza Trainum. Very interesting, because again, these would also be the parents of Reverend George. Bright's disease was kidney disease and also old age. And you see he was buried in High Point. We're pretty sure that was Clifton Grove. While most of his descendants died in Pittsburgh and many were buried in Clifton Grove, his son John Trainum, who married Lottie Hines, lived and died in the Davidson Forsyth area, and here is their tombstone in uh, Clifton Grove. Again, he married Lottie Harrison. The Foy Self Connection, the Reverend Earl Hines' first wife was Mabel Self Hines, and she was the daughter of George Self and Bordy, Betty Foy Self. Betty Foy Self, who we see here, was an early evangelist, and her parents were the famous Frank Spees and Lou Foy of Walltown in Salem. Frank was a prominent blacksmith and an esteemed black citizen of the county, and Lou Foy was a former slave of the Reverend Miles Foy, who was a Methodist pastor that lived in Salem during slavery. Lou was a charter member of First Baptist Church also of Highland or Winston-Salem, and her other descendants, namely those of Will Foy, now are in the name of Carter, Caldwell, even those of Midway, Green, Holman, Lindsay, and Robinson. Will and Mabel's descendants have become very active and still are active at First Walltown since its founding. Their children were Mabel, who married Reverend Earl Hines, Oliver Self, Charlie Flay Self, Ruth Rebecca Self, who married Mason Weaver Roberts, Joanna Self, who married James John Mock, Peter Self, Lois Self, and William Self. A short historical timeline of family. The era of slavery. Who were the likely owners of the Grimes, Hines, and Trainum family? And of course, we know the famous story of how George Hines was sold away from the Grimes family, and after emancipation, he chose to reign in the name of Hines, much to the anger of his father, George Grimes. Let's go back a little bit further. Uh, Abbott's Creek Church was organized in, on July 4th, 1832. And when you see this church building here, it's one of the first ones in the area. Enslaved and freedmen attended the church. Uh, so our folk did attend this church. Uh, and the older Hines and Trainum ancestors, as we saw earlier, were buried in its cemetery. Its pastor, the Reverend or Elder at that time, William Turner, married blacks in Davidson County and the Walltown area of Forsyth. And here is the present church of the Abbots Creek Church. Brown Town, which was the one of the biggest towns in Davidson County in 1842, was incorporated. It doesn't exist anymore, but it was in the area of Abbott's Creek, and the ancestors of this family would have known and lived in Brown Town, as we'll see soon. 
George Grimes was buried here, uh, and his relatives were no doubt the owners of the elder Grimes Hines family. He was prominent and owned a famous mill in the county on Reedy Creek. Here we see the George Grimes plantation house, and here we see the mill. In 1828, there was a sale of slaves in Everett Creek by Charles Grimes. Charles Grimes, the Negro man named Jim to George L for 202.50. So we see here, the Negro woman Beck, maybe Becky or Rebecca, for 244 to James Humphrey and the Negro boy Solomon for 193. And of course, as you notice, Becky or Beck was the highest sold for the highest amount because she could breed. Jeffrey P. Trainum, who is buried in Abbott's Creek Cemetery, was the owner of the elder Trainum slaves in the area. And he and his older slaves came from Virginia. And, many, and there are many ties to Staunton, Virginia, in that area. Many of the same names. There's also a George there and a Jeffrey. So you will see many of those common names and relatives, uh, as you would in Wahlberg, also in Staunton, Virginia. Some slaves of the family of John and Joyce Hines, and these are some we've seen in some records, was the mulatto slave Caesar who moves to Friedland, not Friendland, but Friedland, the slave Rachel, the slave Deeks, maybe a son of Rachel, and the slave Hulda. And Hulda is buried in the White Hines family cemetery in Wahlberg. And of course, George W. Hines named one of his daughters Hulda. Nearby was the old Spurgeon House, which still stands on Abbott's Creek Road, and it was built by slaves according to the, that family history uh, in 1847. And of course, we know that Reverend George Trainer married a slave or married Clara, uh, Clara Hand Spurgeon. In 1850, we see that Jeffrey Trainum owned 17 slaves in Abbott's Creek in, I'm sorry, in Virginia. In 1860, we will see that he is now in, in Davidson County, where he owns 20 slaves. And his neighbor, Joseph Hines, owned two. So again, we'll go back and see that in 1850, he owned slaves in Virginia. He then moves to Davidson County. In 1860, John Hines also uh, owned seven slaves. Uh, Solomon Hines, who was up here, uh, I think, he owned one slave. And some of their neighbors who owned slaves were in the name of George Eller, probably in Midway, and Solomon Mock, as we will also see here uh, on the list. In 1860, Joseph Hines owned two young slaves, we see here. Uh, John, Another John Hines and the family owned one slave. And their neighbors were Yokely, Spurgeon and Raper. And there's a Yokely too. And the Josie Hines also is up there. That's Josie Hines, plus Caesar, Rachel, Deke, etc. And Hulda up there. By 1870, we find that George Grimes is living in Midway. And his neighbors are folk by the name of John Hoover, Starling Hoover, and Jack DeWapp. We remember from the earlier slave deed how there were some grind slaves who were sold to a DeWapp. And we see these are his black neighbors uh, and also Hoovers. We also see a 22-year-old George Williams, and then we see a Frank Haynes and a Martha. Uh, we know that one of the names that goes to the Grimes family later on is Frank. So we never know. This may be his parent, this age 70 up here, who's a Frank Haynes. Freedom, of course, meant choosing a name or from your marriage and living on your own, as we saw earlier with George Grimes. Where was George Hines in 1870? George Hines and his wife, Emmeline, were living in the neighboring Guilford County in Deep River. And of course, here's Abbott's Town Creek Township right here. And here is Deep River near Colfax, just below Colfax is where Deep River is. Kind of odd, they were living there. In 1870, of course, we see that George Grimes, which earlier was living in Midway, uh, 
with his neighbors, the Hoovers, the Laps, Williams, and Haynes. In 1870, we see that George Trainum, who was mistakenly listed as white, is living with the Madison Rayburn family as a warm hand. We see, and he was in Browntown. We see his brother is also in Browntown. Uh, Moses, Moses and Marianne and their children. We also see a Martha Trainum and Amanda Trainum and an Ellen Trainum. And this family married into the Caesar Hine, Hines family. And you see right here, she's from Virginia. Caesar Hines in 1870 is living in South Fork Township near Friedland. Uh, here are his children. And of course, over here, it shows his son, Caesar Hines Jr., marrying an Ellen Trainum, who we just saw earlier on the previous slide. By 1880, George Grimes is still living in Midway with his son Hiram and Augustus, who works at the sawmill. Hiram does, and we see that Augustus works on the farm. By 1880, George and Emmeline Hines are back in Abbots Creek, what we can now know as uh, Georgetown. And of course, we see the G and the E and all their children who have their initials listed. By 1880, George and Cloan, Cloan Spurgeon, have also lived somewhere in Georgetown. We see their family here. Around 1890, the Reverend George Trainum organized the Clifton Grove Church on his own property. And we're told by history that he was so consumed with building the church that he lost his own crop for the first year. And that was devastating to anyone's uh, money at that time. When his health failed, he gave up the pastorate to his son, the Reverend L. L. Trainum, who served for several years. And later he resigned and he was followed by the Reverend E. M. Johnson, who was followed by the Reverend Stokes, who was then followed by Reverend Earl Hines, who came from 1943 to 1955. This is the new Clifton Grove, not the one in 1890, of course. Georgetown and Georgetown Road area became known of as Georgetown because of all the Georges in the area, Reverend George Trainum, Reverend George Hines, and, Reverend, and, and George Kleinert. Uh, we see in 1903 that Hiram Grimes was appointed to serve on the Colored School Committee in Abbott's Creek, which is pretty interesting, along with uh, Lee Ader, Pleasant Raper, and also on the committee in 1903, and many years after, you see him serving many years after too. We find in 1918 that Oliver Hines serves, he goes overseas in World War I. In 1940, we see, uh, of course, Reverend Hines organizing the first Grimes Hines Trainer reunion, and also later the Lindsay reunion, which came into the uh, reunion name. In 1945, Reverend Hines' son, Josiah Hines, is killed in World War II in Italy. He is buried in Clifton Grove. And this is his picture from Jeanette Kelly, his niece. The, here, the following are some pictures of the elders. Uh, we want more pictures, so please send them in. We use what we have, and we would love to have more. You can email them in here, or however you choose to get them to us.